and gets what he desires by paying the price of having a feeling of missing. The suitable place for having this feeling is Vrajada. The place, the place is what? Which place? Vrajada, Brinda. Here, the separated devotee wanders around looking for his ishtate. Yeah. Weeping and lamenting. When Gopa Kumar came to the terrest terrestrial Raja, his condition was such. I spent all days and nights there, weeping in great distress with a pitiful voice. In the material world, a person is so distressed when he loses a child or so, that he sits down in a lonely place without speaking to anyone, simply crying. People of the world become mad when they are out of money. When will I feel like this? about you. Rade, Rade. Rade, Rade. So, uh, one thing has come into my mind. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Guru Dev. Um, if we read Vilapa Kusumanjali, uh, we often find the description of Raguna Das Goswami when he comes back from Svarupa Vesh into Sadaka Vesh, very miserable. He's rolling on the ground, crying, lamenting, lamenting for Swamini. So, uh, one reason for this is actually it's not exaggerated. Radha Dasi uh, is uh, completely uh, connected to Radha's heart. Radha's feelings, Radha's feelings are also uh, in her Dasi's heart. And Radha's intelligence also is in Radha Dasi's mind. So when Raghunath uh, comes back from his from his uh, Svarupa Vesh into his Sadaka Vesh, he loses this connection. Uh, it is often said that basically uh, Radha Dasi is fearless. But actually, the, there is one thing Radha Dasi is afraid of. And that is being rejected by Shimati Radharani, by Swamini. So, uh, even though uh, Shimati Radhika will never reject her Dasi, uh, this fear is 
sometimes manifested in Raguna Dasa Goswami's mind. And when he loses this connection, he comes back to his uh, Sadaka Desh, he feels uh, completely, completely lost without, without Swamini, without her beloved Swamini. So that's why he laments, cries, feels like a fish out of water, which was mentioned in the commentary read by Rasamayi. Radha, Radha. Teaching to us, Raghunath Das Goswami, teaching to us, right? Very nice. You become a husband now. I'm so happy. Proud of you, Monty. Uh, this is all your Kripa Gurudev, nothing more, really. Maybe later is on the navigator. But Sadaka has to move on that. Way. Yeah. Oh. That I want. Always teach. We come back. Wait, no other sports. And everyone is welcome who has some realizations. They are all welcome to share that. Rather. Rather. So, when a devotee reaches that condition, Swamini cannot stay far away anymore. The question may now arise, money and children are very tangible things, aren't they? Radharani is not such a tangible thing. How can we experience her? How can we think of her yeah. while, while we have never experienced yeah. The answer is you cannot experience her because you do not think of yourself as her maidservant. <laughs> this awareness will arise when you experience your relationship with her. Bhajan will swiftly be accomplished in this way. Prema Bhakti Chandrika says, My heart will be filled with joy when I defeat my enemies, lust, anger, greed, and I will easily worship Radha Govinda. Yeah. 
A person in Sarupa Vesh may be engaged in worldly duties, but his mind is always fixed on the lotus feet of his Ishtadev. So this is example of Bhajana Kriya. Person in Swarup Vesh may be engaged in worldly duties. So how, someone who is fixed, situated in his Thai Bhav, in this case Manjari Bhav, can be engaged in different worldly duties in his work with his family in different circumstances and situation but because he is fixed in Staiba in his Manjari Swarup in this case his mind is always fixed in lotus feet of Swamini this is the secret of bhajana kriya. And this is proper balance between outside activity, which is necessary for maintaining the life, paying the bills, but nothing more than paying the bills. And on the other side, with strong connection in the heart with beloved Swamini. When we practice this kind of bhajana kriya, then we can be in all different situations because life is full of surprises. We don't know what will happen tomorrow or next day or for one month. But if we somehow be, become fixed in our spiritual identity, then all these different outside circumstances will not influence us. Mm -hmm. So, for this reason, bhajana is most important. Mm -hmm. And without Ishtadev, this Bhajana Kriya actually is not possible. It is important to have one goal, fixed goal, stay Bhava in that goal, and in that way we can properly advance, advance, advance in our spiritual life. It's not question of ashram, family life, Brahmacharya. What Guru did? When we fixed in yesterday, and he always is in my front. In my mind, in my heart, in my thinking, in my dream, every moment, if yesterday is the truth, then I want to do more. That intense. Feeling develop our guidance, feeling develop. <laughs> 
Sarup can only come when Mr. Dev is fixed in all circumstances that I am Radha Dasi and Mohan is lover of my song and my job is always to bring him to make happy to my family. Always she will be only happy if I will bring her to see his lover Mohan, or I will catch him where he is, that he come to meet with Swami. That is the service of my very Dasi of Radhi. Bhavulas Rati. This Rati intense service, condensed feeling is our service. If the Gurudev gave me by instruction of Radha Rani, Siddha Pranali, Guru Pranali, <coughs> and my Sarup by instruction of Swami is one thing. And I have no wish to live. Then this Guru Pranali, Siddha Pranali, will not do my meditation. Why? It's not related to me. It's a new subject for me. When my Ishtadev is fixed with me, in my heart, in my mind, in my dream, every moment I cannot be far and I cannot be without her. This meditation, when it happens, That is a dhyan, dharan, I accept it. Dhruva Smriti, one pointed, like the Dhruva Tara. That brings us in the highest stage, Samadhi, and this time the eyes is open or not open. Totally, we stay in Samadhi, stage is my Saru. Radhe Radhe Gurudev. So this is the reason why so often I want to say you say in this Samadhi stage, what is happening, what is coming in the material or spiritual is no meaningful. 
that samadhi stage. And then, if he has to do any material thing, is no meaning for him, because he is always samadhi to one point. You know, deviate from his his sarup and his and he knows better, like Deva Pran said, like all intelligentsia Dasi has or Radhika sees intelligence. Even Radhika Dachi said to the <coughs> Radhika, why are you worrying? I'm with you. I will show you the way. I will do that everything for you. You don't need to bother. I will take care of you. This is my business. What you were here? I am with you. I will take care of you. Gopinath is not there. He say very nicely. When he say I listen, and it never go from my heart. This words always inspire me. Not <coughs> Coming, Guru Dev, don't worry. Say in English. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Rade, Rade, eh? Yeah. I wonder, yeah, I want to say Gopinath is there, uh, he's just in separation. He's on the way. But I wanted to say something about separation, about love and separation. It's, um, it's a very mysterious idea, I think, for devotees. For me, at least, because in a way, not all love is love and separation. The object of our love is always an object, and it always has to stay an object. The one we love is always someone different, and we admire and love the things about the other's person, heart, and being. So it's not a question of taking away the separation. Yeah, oh, yeah. You can say Gaurav, Gauranga. Yeah, I left you, sorry. We don't want to become one with Radha, we want to always serve her from a position of very pure separation. Radha, Radha. Yeah. Well, Anga, you want to say, yeah? No, Udava said very nicely, actually, 
wherever two persons who love each other, it's completely normal they feel separation for each other. And when we say, we can say that uh, as love is more stronger, the separation is more stronger. Different devotees on different levels, they have different kind of separation. But the devotees in Vraja, specifically in Vraja, they have intense separation. And most intense separation has a radhika. So this art of feelings of separation can be felt, can be learned from someone who, who is already on that level of love because he is already on that level of separation. And Vrajavasis are example of strong love, strong separation, and Radhika is the most beautiful, most sweet example of love in separation. And her maidservants actually are also the most exalted examples of love for Radhika and feeling of love in separation of Radhika. So we have to learn and to feel from them, to open our hearts to their feelings and minds. Hmm. In a way, to become, to perfect the separation, not to, not to stop the separation, but to make it more pure. Yes, to perfect, true separation, to perfect love. And love brings more separation, and more separation brings more love, and this is endless. <laughs> it's always like this, especially in Vraja, and especially in the mood of Radhika and in the mood of Manjaris. The more love, the more separation. The more separation, more love. And it's always growing, growing, endlessly growing. This is why Acharya said that actually feelings of separation, Vipralamba, is sadhana. To attain Milana, to attain union with our beloved Swamini. But through Swarup Vesh, spiritual identity. That's what I wanted to say. Very nice. Beautiful. Radha, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Deva. Very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> this awareness will arise. Oh, sorry. A person in Sarup Avesh may be engaged in worldly duties. Awareness, sorry, I want to say about <laughs> What is awareness? Consciousness. And you know, Prabhupada, he said, awareness of Krishna to the East Dev start with this. Awareness with the East Dev is Krishna consciousness. Then you will say, he is not here, we are to Radha. 
when we will read Bhagavad Gita, the last word of Bhagavad Gita is Rāda. So you can understand, we don't know even the God, we make aware with the God and to the goal, final goal, that is pleasure giving potency last time. So he is telling if you practice awareness, if you practice consciousness, consciousness not body consciousness, soul consciousness. If you are conscious with that, with Krishna, you will reach to Radha. That is Krishna consciousness. So you can see he is not. He is so much helping. We know that Balaam is a brother. We know Nitai is Gauranga brother. We don't know that he is an unmanning one. But when we conscious with Gauranga, we understand that the ties are not going to be out. Takes time, right? So similarly, if you conscious with God, Creator, then automatically the end will be by practicing Bhagavad Gita, you will be, we want to be normal. And we will be normal. That is the mercy of God. Till my nature is abnormal, we have to wait to be normal. So Bhagavad Gita of Prabhupada is telling Krishna conscious, but is a Radha conscious. <laughs> the most beautiful coming Russian preacher, Radha Charandas Andas, he is telling one song of Prabhupada, I want to listen again, come here near uh, bring that here, here and give them my dream. Yeah. What Prabhupada is singing in the board. Um, English, English. Oh, sorry, English. Uh, yesterday I went to the old discussion. Uh, use the last point to say this I mentioned this meeting, but Shiva Ramdi Sai Maharaj explained one prayer of Shiva Ramdi Swami when he came by Jaladu to America. Maybe both of them are to He prayed to Krishna. Oh, Krishna, please help me here. If you will do this, if you will help me in my mission of my Gurudev here, then 
I will go to Shimadha, how you look was helpful, and she will be very uh, pleased with you. <laughs> and she will go, see, this is Manjali Baba. <laughs> this is Manjali Baba. <laughs> yeah, well, she touched my heart by that. And it's explained, explained by Narayan Maharaj. Yeah. Because somebody spent out who is Shri Prabhupada, was that gate this? Shri Prabhupada is gate this? Yeah. Sorry, it's not possible to understand. The mic is too close or something. Radha, Radha, we didn't hear anything because the voice was so... I simply don't understand anything, Guru. Uh, slowly, I have to go. Interview. Yeah, it's not, it's not, no, no, this speaker has to be. Yes. Slowly, and everybody has to understand. Uh, sorry. You are listening or not? I will repeat again. No, no, listening. Where? Be careful. Not working, no. Something is. Switch off. Switch off. What happened? It's just stop work. No charge. No. My God. It's charge. It's charge. No battery. Ah, no battery. Uh -huh. No Ah, here it's okay. Mike. Krishna help me is there not a little happy? Are you connected to the voice? Is going on? Ah, now they're here. Okay, now someone please talk something. Can we catch your voice? What are the Sundarajis? Radhe, Radhe. We can hear okay. you and Gurudev. Now we can try with Radha Charana Rudas. Thank you so much. Now you're listening? No, you have to come here. Gurudev, some, somehow the microphone is distortion. You can do without microphone. Yeah. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yeah. Are you can hear me? Okay. I am sure some devotees here knows this prayer of Shubhakon Sain Prabhupada much better than I am. But I will want to repeat the essence of words of Shilnaran Gasem about this prayer. When Bhaktan Sami Prabhupada came slow to America slow. by Jaladuta. No, no, translating. You have to say slow. Others are translating in different oh. languages. Sorry. Yes. Yes. You say slowly, I think. Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> um, when Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada came to America Boston. by Jawaduta to Boston, Boston, he prayed to Krishna and he told to him, please help me here to fulfill the desire of my Guru Dev, Bhaktisam Saraswati. If you 
help me. Then I will tell to Radha how you was so helpful. And then she will be pleased with you. And Naren Vasan Maharaj pointed on these words. See, this is Manjari Baba. Because Jai in the moment, some devotees has doubt who is Shilaprabhada. He pointed, see, in each mood he is praying to Krishna. Oh, you will, if you will help me, I will tell the Swami about you. Understand? So beautiful, Gurudev. Very nice. Thank you, Radha. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> to the point. This is Mahajan. These are Mahajan. We don't understand. It's a mistake of me. There's no hide anything. Before reaching to America, What he is praying, you can imagine. He will change his bhava. Siddha Mahatma, who is sitting and chanting in Vrindavan 14 years, 15 years. In that time, in 15, you can imagine. The beauty of his realization and understanding is step by step before reaching America. Then what he is doing in America? This was his mission. And he is working for that mission. Rather, now really. So we cannot. Gaudiya Vaishnav or not practicing Manjari Bhav. Then he is not Gaudiya. Sorry to say. If you become Gaudiya, Mahaprabhu follower, and you are not practicing that, which you never. You're wasting your time. It's better to go back and work and do business. It's no use to be a religious. <laughs> one pointed. Mahaprabhu is totally one pointed. Or Dhari and Lila, he do the merciful Lila. What Radha Krishna in a Brajil Lila, he cannot do Mahaprabhu come and he gives prasad like it's going through like this. Everyone he is giving mercy. Prasad throwing is a mercy throwing, is love throwing to everyone. Who can do like him? My Jananda Maharaj said, Would your rasa was there? Ujjal Rasa is not there. Bhukti Bhav, Shakti Bhav was there. Right on. It was in Vahasimad Bhagavad. 
but Unnat not. You should listen from his mouth. What is Unnat? Gyananda Maharaj, come from your meditation and share this Unnat with your rest. <clears throat> Sandy Boti said, if, if Mahaprabhu did not appear in this world, what would be happen? So if Mahaprabhu does not appear, and then we don't have Manjari Baba. Yeah. So because Manjari Baba is so, so rare mm -hmm. and so difficult to, one sense is difficult to attain. Mm -hmm. And all incarnation does not, before Mahaprabhu, all incarnation cannot give this Manjari Baba to us. And why he could give us Manjari Baba? Because Krishna took the mood of Srimati Radharani. And Radharani is so, so merciful, so magnanimous. Namo Maha Badanaya. Krishna Prema Pradaya. And so this Krishna Prema, generally speaking, this might be, you know, Radha's Baba. Who knows Radha's Baba most? <laughs> Manjari knows Radha's Baba. Yeah, oh, one new thing you say today. Yeah, oh. This is your Samadhi, I understand. <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything, but uh, you, <laughs> Guru Dev, you inspire me. To say something. I, 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 when I don't know, today you said this, you see. Yeah. 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 Go on. Jai Ho. <clears throat> Ah, Rade. Again, we want to somebody wake him up. <laughs> Are, sorry, my computer. Ah, Rade. Yeah, I'm not Say more. <laughs> Say more. So. So Mahaprabhu took Radha's, no, no, Krishna took Radha's Baba. So Radha's Baba is, is, so many people can say, oh, Radha's Baba also Saki Baba. But, uh, but the Rupa Goswami said, no. Actually, Radha, Saki Baba is also maybe Radha Baba, but... Manjari Baba is more higher because Manjari does not want to enjoy Krishna personally. Manjari wants to serve Radha and Mohan and they can see both feeling. Manjari could see not only Krishna's feeling, 
or not only Radha's feeling, Krishna's feeling, also Manjari could see other Manjari's feeling also. Rupa, Man Rupa Manjari's feeling, Lati Manjari's feeling, Guru Manjari's feeling. So, Mahaprabhu just want to not only taste himself, but the Mahaprabhu's Mahaprabhu is very magnanimous, so he want to give us this taste. So please take, please take this feeling, please take this feeling. Means Manjari Baba, please take Manjari Baba. Please take Manjari Baba. And in Chaitanya Charitamrita, if we have an eye to see, we could feel uh, this Mahaprabhu's Manjari Baba. And that Baba, this Manjari Baba, Rupa Goswami, say something. Also, Lati Manjari, Torashi Manjari could felt more. So this Raghunath Das Goswami Pada, uh, he saw all Lira, he, he tasted this Lira and he wrote it down for us, for our uh, sadhana, for our meditation. This, this is the beauty of uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Horova, especially Rupa Nuga Horova, especially uh, Torashi Manjari and Rati Manjari. Who is Raghunata Das Goswami? Bravo. Who can understand mostly the uh, heart of Dupa Manjari? This is Rati Manjari, Trashi Manjari. That's why if we read Vyapak's Manjari, we can understand the highest Manjari Baba. Yes, you know. <laughs> She was Acharya Astrology. Now she is becoming Rasika. <laughs> My God. <laughs> then she has to find some astrology Acharya. <laughs> she cannot do this. <laughs> By, your mercy. By your mercy. She has, yeah. she has, she has to change job. <laughs> Mangala, <laughs> 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 you have to take this job. Yes, Rita, Tommy, I am just how much you will go deep, it will help us. This is begging now. Huh? In the shop market, we come. In juke market, why we come for begging? Everyone can give some mercy in our, what you say? Back. And different. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> A person in Sarupa Vesh uh -huh. may, <laughs> may be engaged in worldly duties, but his mind is always fixed 
on the lotus feet of his Ishtadev. Sriman Mahaprabhu compared these devotees with wives that have a paramour, a lover. The wife may be engaged in her household work, but her mind is always fixed on her lover. When her household work is somehow accomplished, she will run off to her lover. Yeah. In the same way, the devotee is also taking the lotus feet of Shirada in his heart in a lonely place, whenever he can get out of his material entanglement. Yeah, oh. Everyone in this world calls me mine, mine. But I do not give an ear to this. I will meditate on Swamini's lotus feet. Her form, her attributes and pastimes. I will see to it that she will be satisfied with my devotional service. Srila yes. Rupa Goswami has written the essential instructions down in his Upadeshamrita. Gradually, the devotee must become more and more absorbed in engaging the tongue and the mind in chanting and remembering the glories of Radha and Mohanas. Forms and pastimes. Spending all his time living in Vraja in allegiance to the Raga Anuga Bhaktas. This is the quint essence of all instruction. In this verse, Shiragunath Das perceives Shirada's pastime of going to Nandishwara to cook for Mohana in the early morning. Raghunata himself is not the controller of these visions. They come to him spontaneously. When the pastimes manifest themselves spontaneously, he relishes them 
And when they vanish, he prays. He is not able to decide the course of their succession. By the blessing of Durva Samuni, Shiradika has become Amritapani. She, whose hand turns everything she cooks into nectar, increasing the lifespan of everyone who eats it. Oh. destroying their diseases, nourishing their bodies, and giving them the taste of nectar. <laughs> For this reason, Mother Jashoda who is always overwhelmed by feelings of love for her son, daily asks her to come to her home to cook for Krishna through the agency of Kundalata. Of course, Srimati Radharani being Svayam Bhagavati, the supreme and original goddess, does not need boons from anyone. Gargamuni and Durvasamuni are only unconsciously assisting in increasing the spiritual erotic flavor for Krishna. Kundalata obtains permission from Mother Jatila to bring Radhika to Nandishwara. Although Jatila mistrusts the naughty son of Nanda, all the gopis walk along with Kundalata, like a marketplace of moons, illuminating all the forest paths with their sweet splendor. All the gopis cover their heads with their veils when they pass through the village of Yavat. But when they leave the boundaries of the village, they open their veils again. How sweetly Tulasi addresses Radharani here. Swamini, there is not a whiff of bodily consciousness in this address. You are going to cook for your prananat. That's why you are overwhelmed by ecstasy. And you may sometimes trip and stumble. I will see it and understand it. The veil of your mind will be opened for me and nothing will remain hidden. Mm -hmm. 
This must be understood through the mind of the Acharya. Just see once how the sincere devotees are fixed in remembering these transcendental pastimes. They are horripilating of ecstasy when they remember the sweetness of Swamini's each and every limb and gesture. <laughs> Swamini's happiness will arise in the heart of the kinkari. The kinkari knows when her Swamini is happy. We also want to become qualified to experience this, to experience this in the heart. One should want to understand all hints that Sri Ishwari makes with her glances and words. This is not possible without giving up all desires other than the lotus feet of Shirad. No. One should always desire to absorb one's mind in the ocean of blissful love for Shirada. In past, present or future, the Kinkaris have no other desire than to serve Shirada's lotus feet. They are always immersed in a shoreless ocean of blissful love for Sri Radha. Swamini proceeds to Nandishwara, the village of Sri Nandaraj, the king of Raja to cook for Mohana. Vraja Raja Kumar, the free enjoyer, who is always absorbed in his delectable pastimes. He is the Lila Purushottam, the ever sportive Lord who likes to play so much that he is intoxicated in ever fresh sports. Krishna is thus called Lila Maya and Swamini always immerses this Lila Maya in an ocean of relishable sports. How sweetly she's placing her steps. How nicely her ankle bells are jingling. How sweetly she's joking with her girlfriend on the way. Mm -hmm. 
she's so absorbed in laughing and joking that she has no idea where she's going to or where she's coming from. It is as if she perceives the reflection of her priyatam in the mirror of her heart. And she is teaching the Mandiri also. If you want, you can perceive it in your heart. Some may think. No Mandiri say, are a gift to do. If you do this, the condensed meaning will go. And then mind is fixed. In some not in my case. So mind is bringing out and mind is bringing near to the mind sarupa. Okay? You cannot leave this mind. Being, this is the game of the mind. So manavritti starts separating your from material thing. This is my business. I this is some privacy for me. When mind is not separately working, what you will do? All is one point. Yeah. How much left? Are there how much left? Uh, maybe five lines, ten, seven, eight lines. It is one. Yeah. Kundalata tells the Swamini yeah, oh. the, the desires of your Chataka bird-like eyes will be fulfilled now. Wow! Chataka bird. Wow. Yeah. By seeing your cloud-like lover, Ganasham, when Swamini hears this, her vine-like body trembles, and the hairs on her body stand erect of bliss. Oh, yeah. Like blooming flowers of love. Yeah. Tulasi is like a female bee that drinks all the honey that drips from these love flowers. Yeah. Suddenly, the vision vanishes, and Shiragunata weeps and prays. Yeah. When can I see you in this sweet way? 
O Swamini Radhika, O worshipper of Krishna's place, when you go to the town of Nandishwara with your girlfriends to cook Mohana's meal, tears are constantly streaming from your eyes. Your skin is studded with goose pimples of ecstasy. And your mouth sings the name of Mohana. Your gait stumbles and your mind is absorbed in rasa, remembering him. I will fill up my eyes with the vision of this young golden beauty who is absorbed in loving ecstasy and shower flowers on her path. <coughs> I will walk behind everyone else and roll in her footprints, showering them with my tears of love. This completes the commentary, 58. Jai Jai Shira. Yeah. Yeah.